Let's finish our discussion on binary arithmetic by introducing binary division. Um, to do division in binary, we're going to be using long division. So let's revisit long division from elementary school. Um, so recall, if you wanted to do 12 into like 2345, what was the algorithm here? Well, the first thing we did is we asked ourselves, how many times does 12 go into 23? The answer is 1, so we put a 1 above the 3. Then we multiply the 1 by 2 and put it under the 3. Multiply the 1 by 1 and put it under the 2. We changed the sign and then we added straight down to get 11. And then at this point, we drop down the 4. Now the process repeats. And we would ask ourselves, how many times does 12 go into 114? Well, the answer is 9, so we put a 9 above the 4. We multiply 9 by 2, and we get 18, carry the 1. 9 times 1 plus 1 gives us a 10. We change the sign, we add straight down, and this process repeats, um, and so on, until we get our answer up here. Now, we're going to be doing the same thing for binary addition. So let me show you an example. Suppose we want to divide 1001-1110 by 10. So let's set up our long division just like we did in decimal. We put the 100 here, and then underneath the division symbol we're going to put 1001-1110. And now we ask ourselves, how many times does 10 go into 10? Just these first two digits. The answer is 1, so we'll put a 1 right above this 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. We put those right underneath our digits. Then we change the sign, and we add straight down. So the result here, if we do this binary uh, subtraction, is just going to be 0. And then we can bring down this 0. Now the question is, how many times does 1 0 go into 0 0? Well, the answer is none, so we're going to put a 0 above that 0 that we just dropped down. And then we do 0 times 1, 0. We get 0, 0. We change the sign, and we add straight down. So this result is 0. Now we drop down the next digit, which is a 1. Now we ask ourselves, how many times does 1, 0 go into 0, 1? The answer is still 0, so we put a 0. Multiply through, get 0, 0. Subtract, we get 1. Now we can drop down our next 1. Now we ask ourselves, how many times does 1, 0 go into 1, 1? The answer is 1 now. So we do 1 times 1, 0 gives us 1, 0. Change the sign, and then we subtract. This gives us a 1. Now we can drop down our next 1. 1, 0 goes into 1, 1, one time. We put a 1, 0. We subtract. We get a 1. We drop down this next one. One zero goes into one 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 time. Multiply, change the sign, subtract, drop down our last digit, which is a zero. How many times does one zero go into one zero? The answer is one. Here we get a one zero, we subtract, and we're left with no remainder. So this is our result of the binary long division. I want to show you another example with um, doing binary long division, but with floating point numbers. So let's see how this is different. So our next example, let's suppose we want to divide 110.01 .01 by 1.10. So let's set up the long division. 1.10 goes outside. On the inside goes 110.01. .01. Now, um, if you remember doing this when we first learned how to do this when we were young, um, we actually moved our decimals over first. We're going to just do the exact same thing here in binary. So I'm going to move this decimal place over 1, 2. I'm going to move this decimal place over 1, 2 and put it right here. And I'm going to put it right directly above. Um, so my answer is also going to be in floating point form. Now I have 110 going into 110. 
right? I'm, I'm, since this is three digits, I'm gonna look at the first three digits. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time. So the answer is one. So I do one times one, one, zero, one, one, zero. I change the sign. This just gives me zero. I drop down my next zero. I already know that's not gonna go into that because it's too small. So I'll put a zero here. This gives me zero, zero, zero. I subtract that, I get a zero, one. The answer is still zero. So I put a zero, zero here. Now I can drop down the one that is after the decimal point. So that's gonna give me one, zero. Um, one, one, zero still doesn't go into one, zero. So this will still be a zero. And then I'm going to get I'm going to subtract zero from this, one zero, and I'm going to drop down the next zero to give me one zero zero. This is still too small, so this will be a zero again. So I'll subtract zero. This gives me one zero zero, and now it's time for me to drop down the next zero. And now I ask myself, does one one zero go into one zero zero zero? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to put a one here. Now when I multiply this out, I get 0, 1, 1, and I can do this subtraction. So my binary subtraction problem works like this. I got 0 minus 0, that's 0. 0 minus 1, I'm going to need to borrow a bit. So I look over here, there's no bit to borrow. I have to borrow from all the way over here. So I'm going to borrow and make that a 0. I'm going to put that 1 on that 0, it makes it 1, 0, which is 2. So I'm going to borrow 1, and I put the 1 in front of this 0, which makes this 1, 0, which is 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and this is just 0. So this is going to be my remainder. Um, I can continue with this and hope that this is going to terminate, or I could just stop here and I can report that my remainder is 1, 0 um, in binary, and then I would be finished. So let me know if you have questions about that.